All right, fellas, let's continue with our open sesame quest. I may as well start with this one. This is a model 900. Oh, a blue one. And this is a looks like a copy of the American, I think it's a 1300 or a 1500 series. Anodized, beautiful job, beautiful machining on this thing. And the difference here is on this one they've gone to the trouble to put in a screw so we can remove and do maintenance on the on the shackle if we want to. The bottom plate again is a little bit different. Maybe that's uh, to avoid, I don't know, copyright or something. Patents. Works beautifully. It is ball bearing. And take a look at the key. Looks like three, four, it's like five again. Five pinner. And like the others, I'm willing to bet this one does not have security pins. We're on a roll here. No wonder they say open sesame because it's so friggin' easy. They make it easy, but I, I, <laughs> I'm at a loss. Why, 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 why? It's like buying an old Corvette and putting a two-cycle motor in it. It just makes no sense to me. All right. I'm going to put moderate tension because I suspect that this is no different than the other sesames. All springy, springy, all springy. Okay, that was pin two. You saw it turn. So there is some slop, it looks like, in the manufacturer in this. Okay, that was three. That was five. I'm, I'm putting pretty extraordinary pressure on the pick and the tension wrench. The, these, these are, <laughs> it's upsetting. It's upsetting to see such a nice, they almost finished the race, but they stopped one yard short of the finish line by putting these crappy cores in them. I just don't get it. Anyway, thanks fellas. Appreciate your time. Stay safe, stay legal. And Jay and Murdy, I'm going to pin these babies up. They're going to be better than new when we're done with them, man.